Hello on YouTube, it's your boy Curtis 7 Man United have just drew with Sunderland 1-1 at the Stadium of Light. One of the most piss poor performances you'll ever see from a United squad. But you know what? I've said that a lot over the past year, so I don't know whether to be worried or this is just the way the times are at the minute. But I do have faith in Louis Van Gaal. You know, I've said this before many a times. He is the man to clean up the squad, to get rid of all the players who aren't good enough, but it's just not going to happen overnight. So we're going to have faith in Louis Van Gaal. Well, I have faith in him anyway. It's going to be a long process. This is not going to happen overnight, but things are looking good off the field with Angel Di Maria rumored to be coming into the club. I think a deal has been agreed for 63.9 million. So, you know, Louis Van Gaal, you can see already bringing quality into the club and letting go, you know, players like Nani. So, you know, I can see a process happening here, but it's just going to take a matter of a few transfer windows and not all going to happen in one. So we're just going to be realistic for a second, uh, for a second, lads. Uh, but in saying that, I knew we were going to be in trouble from the get-go when I seen Cleverly and Fletcher starting together in the middle of the park, especially in front of the young defence we have. Smalling went off injured. That means Tyler Blackett, Phil Jones and Michael Keane were going to be in the central of defence with Fletcher and Cleverly covering them. I knew it was going to be downhill. It was going to be very difficult and it was proven to be, you know, Fletcher and Cleverly just created nothing today. They were just too scared to create a chance. Obviously, no cover to the midfield, no creativity for the players, for the attacking players that we already have. Um, but what can I say? I've been screaming out for this for a long, 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 long time, and it wasn't to be. But in saying that, lads, we did create one chance in the first half, which led to a goal. Uh, Antonio Valencia getting past the uh, left back from uh, Sunderland. Putting in a low hard cross and Mata couldn't really miss that and got the opener and I thought right maybe this is against the run of play maybe we can create more here maybe we can go build on something it wasn't meant to be under undeservedly lead too by the way Sunderland were fantastic in that first half and 13 minutes after we scored the first goal Jack Rodwell scored the goal to give him his first goal for Sunderland and all was square going into halftime there it's a very even game after halftime came on uh, we played a much, much better. We played all possession with no chances. <laughs> Basically, yeah, we had the ball, passing it sideways. Fletcher cleverly, mate, it was just wasn't working whatsoever. But there was a big, big talking point in the second half when Robin Van Persie went down in the penalty box. Fair enough, it wasn't a penalty, but two seconds later, Wes Brown made contact with Ashley Young, and Ashley Young, mate, just made out like he just got shot in the back of the net about 14 times, threw his hands in the air, threw his legs above his head, and just rolled over a million times, and, uh, mate, thank God the referee showed him the yellow card, because he deserved it. You know, I was hoping Louis Van Gaal would take him off to say, hey, mate, that shit doesn't happen at our club. You know, he's been warned so many times, and it gets so frustrating. Yes, there was contact. Yes, maybe it could have been a penalty maybe but there's no need to be throwing your body around just crazily like you're a freaking idiot you know it upsets me so many times especially from a player who's got a reputation and is trying to fix this reputation it just makes no sense but in saying that lads Robin Van Persie came off you know he wasn't fit you know it's his first game back we all knew he wasn't gonna play 90 minutes Danny Wilbeck came on uh, Danny Wilberg been rumoured to be leaving United this week, but it makes no sense to me whatsoever. He came on the second half, but he stretched the Sunderland defence. They were worried about him. He was making really good runs left, right, centre. Mate, he played a beautiful, beautiful ball for Ashley Young outside the right foot. Mate, it was one-on-one -on -one with Morena, and Morena with a perfectly timed tackle up against Ashley Young, and that could have been a sealer for us, but mate, great time tackle there, and uh, Wilbeck playing beautifully, and yet creating chances, but in saying that, lads, mate, we had Yanazai come on for Darren Fletcher, Van Gaal obviously seen Darren Fletcher wasn't up for it, but we put Yanazai in the middle of the park. That was really strange for me. You know, we're talking about one of the most attacking best options up forward. The guy that was creating all the chances last week, we're going to play him deep in the center of the park. I don't know, it just didn't make any sense what happened. Uh, but you know what, lads? The United of old would have been, you know, 1 1, 10 minutes to go. We would have been pressing, pressing, creating chances, pushing that Sunderland defense right back. Mate. The Sunderland of, I mean, the United of today wasn't that like that at all. It's quite the opposite. We were defending with, you know, five minutes to go. And, uh, you know, all was 1-1 apiece, and that's the way it ended. And uh, pretty frustrating as well, lads. Especially when you got players like Rooney, Mata, Van Persie, Yanazai, Danny Wilbeck, and we're not even creating any chances. It's really, really disappointing. I always used to say, if we lose 
and we create chances, I'm not worried. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's not your day, whatever. But you do hit the panic button right now when we're not even creating any chances with players that we've already got. So, but you know, it's not all downhill, guys. It looks like we are going to seal the deal for Angel Di Maria. So hopefully we can get him, you know, for a whopping 63.9 million. Mate, that's a huge fee. But we do need these types of players, so I'm not complaining. Mate, bring them all. But in saying that, lads, we do, we do need that central midfielder. We need probably two of them, mate, and we need that central defender. We need the experience at the back because Johnny Evans... Phil Jones and Smalling, mate, well, they're not, they're not going to win us any titles, any seasons real soon coming up. So, anyways, lads, we've got three games coming up next against all three promoted teams, Leicester, Burnley, and QPR. Three in a row. We need to pick up maximum points. If we don't pick maximum points up from these three teams, we're going to be in strife this season. It's going to be very hard. Great that we don't have European football on our side, but we need to be making an impact. We're one point from six points at the minute, lads. It's not the best start in the world, considering when you saw the fixture that United had the easiest fixtures in the all of Premier League. But, oh well, it's not meant to be. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna let Louis Van Hal do his thing. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Please drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care and peace.